Hey everybody, Paul Bray, Family Friendly Gaming. I am doing a video of Dawn of Discovery on the Nintendo DS. Um, it's kind of an interesting little uh, city builder kind of game with islands and kings and all that. Uh, let me know what you think of it, and uh, you know if you guys like this video series and want to keep going, you know, uh, let us know. So we can have easy meeting my heart. The devastated great parts of my life was hanging by a thread. My people were hungry and desperate. They needed food and land to survive. And I needed help. Father, you have sent for us. Yes, my son. I seek your advice. My people are starving and weak. Their fields produce no fruit or crops. We must help them, or great tragedy will befall our kingdom. You say they have no strength to farm our lands, yet they swing their scythes at us. Let them fight if they want to fight. Father, Sorry about skipping that. Not another war. We have plenty of lands to the south. There are countless islands in our kingdom with fertile soil and fields. I say we set sail, settle, and farm that which is already ours. I like the sound of that. We shall take to the sea and settle our islands. Now be gone. Great work lies ahead of us. There is no time to waste. Devonport, what are you doing here? Master William, sir, your father thought it a good idea that I aid you on your travels. <laughs> but Devonport, you can't travel on ships. You get seasick. Indeed, sir, a concern I addressed with your father. And he still sent you? Yes, he knew an easy solution to my problem. And what would that be? To lean over the railing, if needed. <laughs> Lovely. Well, welcome on board. May this journey be a pleasant one for us and your stomach. I, William Riley, am heading south to my personal advisor, Cornelius, Davenport, and a couple of pioneers. There are both in the first settlement to help fight starvation in our kingdom. Thank goodness we have arrived, Master William. We are close to the island your father, the king, would like us to settle on. I hear your brother Edward has also arrived and has already begun to build a settlement. Perhaps we'll meet him later in our travels. For now, Master William, may I introduce you to Pioneer Tom. Mr. Davenport, sir, we have completed the warehouse on the island. The island is ours now. Very good. Let's get better overview of the area by taking a look around. Then we try to reach a warehouse by following the displayed arrow. Simply follow the arrow. Well done, Master William. You found the warehouse. Mr. Devonport, here's a book you asked for. Uh, thank you very much, Tom. Master William, this is our logbook. I will list our missions and detailed progress here. You can also look. You can also have a look there if you forget what to do next. Touch the highlight icon to take a look at what we should do next now. Touch the warehouse with a stylus and hold down to open a tooltip explaining the function. Well done, Master William. As you can see on the screen, you don't have any habits living on our settlement so far. Many of us will come to your island if you provide us with houses and goods. I hope so, Tom. When we fulfill these needs, our inhabitants will happily be willing to pay taxes, which we can then use to improve our settlement. Taxes? Happily? Er, we'd speak about taxes later, Master William. Let us build the first inhabitant's houses for our friend Pioneer Tom. We're going to need a lot of wood to build these. Unfortunately, we have very little left, so little we can only build one house now. Alright, Tom. But there is a simple solution to that, you'll see. For now, Master William, let's build that one house. Thanks very much, Master William. My family only needs the spot you chose for a new home. You're welcome, Tom. Master William, next we need to build a road connected from the house to the warehouse. That's right. Without a road, we cannot get the food we need. So let's connect the inhabitant's house and the warehouse by building a road between them.
Well done, Master William. We can now reach the warehouse to get food for my family. Thanks to you, the island has become a home to us. We can now... We now have to make it a home to more than just one family. Master William, your father the king is expecting our support in the form of food soon, and we will need many more people to get the job done. Still, I mentioned before, we need wood to build more than houses, and we use less wood for the first building. That's why we must spend a few gold coins to build a lumberjack hut and connect it to the warehouse. So they say, can you see the marker wagon coming from our house to get the wood for the lumberjack because it was connected. The wood has reached warehouse. We should expand our settlement now. But first, we need to get a better overview of the island. So we should so we don't lose track of our buildings. You can do that by zooming in or out. Go ahead, try it. Now that we know how to keep an overview of what's going on, we should start expanding our small settlement. I know people that would like to join this growing community if we can find them with houses. So let's expand our village by building three more inhabitants houses and connect them to the warehouse. Okay, that's not the copy. Yes, I intelligently put the houses right next to the road. Excellent, Mr. Williams. Our number of inhabitants is increasing. If you continue the progress at this rate, we will have a productive metropolis much sooner than expected. We can soon begin to send food back to your father, the king. Mr. Davenport, sir, speaking of food, we have a lot of pioneers now, but no steady supply of food. We should ensure that our stocks of food does not run out. We do not want people to leave the island. Because if they leave, their houses will collapse, and worse, they will no longer pay taxes. Here's a beach. We saw a fish by the shores. That's just to build a fisherman's hut. Tom is absolutely right. You'll be more careful. More than one fisherman's hut would be unwise if the running cost would be too high for us at the moment. And now we got to get a road there. Excellent. We can be proud of what we have already accomplished. We have wood to build the food to eat, and we're, so we're happy. This is becoming a very nice settlement. Maybe you should start looking for ways to expand. Mission accomplished. Seems you have done good and fulfilled your mission so far. Well done, Master William. I think I'm going to go ahead and stop this video here, here, and thank everyone for watching. Have a wonderful day.